Welcome to the 12th lecture in general topology. The topics that we'll explore in this lecture include a continuation of our study of countable sets to include countably infinite sets, and we'll look at the cofinite and co-countable topologies. Okay, so we'll start with an exercise from the previous lecture. Let F, which is a map from the set A into the set B, and G, which is a map from the set B into the set C, be bijections. Then there exists an inverse function, f inverse, from the set B into the set A, defined by f inverse of B is the element A, if and only if, f of A is the element B, And there exists an inverse function, g inverse, which is a map from the set C into the set B, defined by g inverse of an element C is the element B, if and only if g of B is the element C. Further, f inverse and G inverse are both bijections. And so the composition G of F, which is a map from the set A into the set C, and the composition F inverse of G inverse which is a map from the set C into the set A, are both bijections. So notice that F inverse of G inverse of G of F is a map from the set A into the set A, where F inverse of G inverse of G of F of the element A is F inverse of G inverse of G of F of A, which is F inverse of G inverse of G of B, which is F inverse of G inverse of the element C, which is F inverse of G of, or G inverse of the element C, which is F inverse of the element B, which is the element A. And so F inverse of G inverse of G of F is the identity map on the set A. Similarly, G of F of F inverse of G inverse is a map from the set C into the set C where G of F of F inverse of G inverse of the element C is G of F of the element, which is F inverse of G inverse of the element C, which is G of F of the element F inverse of B, which is G of F of the element A, which is G of the element F of A, which is G of the element B, which is the element C, and so G of F of F inverse of G inverse is the identity, identity map on the set C, and therefore the inverse of G of F 
is the composition F inverse of G inverse. Okay, so new definition. A subset A of a set X is cofinite. if and only if the complement of A in the set X is finite, that is, the set A contains all but finitely many elements of the set X. So we'll look at the second uh, exercise from the previous lecture. Let tau be the collection of all subsets of a given set X where that subset is either the empty set or the complement of that set is finite. And this collection tau is called the cofinite topology or it's also called the finite complement topology on the set X. So uh, we will prove that this collection is a topology. So first condition, clearly the empty set is in the collection tau. Now since the complement of the entire set is the empty set, which is finite, the entire set is in the collection tau. And so the first condition of the definition of the topology is satisfied. So second condition, let the collection u sub i, where i is an indexing set i, be an indexed family. Of non-empty sets in the collection tau, Then the complement of u sub i is finite for every index i. And so the arbitrary intersection of these complements is finite. as arbitrary intersections of finite sets. Are finite. Now since the arbitrary intersection of complements of sets is the complement of the arbitrary union of those sets, we have that the arbitrary union of non-empty subsets of the collection tau is once again in the collection tau. Now clearly, the union of the empty set with this arbitrary union, which is the arbitrary union, is in the collection tau. 
and hence arbitrary unions. of sets in the collection tau are once again or are also in the collection tau. So the second condition of the definition is satisfied so now we look at the third. So let u sub 1 through u sub n be non-empty sets in the collection tau then the complement of these sets is finite for every index i ranging from 1 to n. And so the finite union of these sets, of the intersection of these sets, is finite. as finite unions of finite sets are finite. Now since the finite union of complements of sets is the same as the complement of the finite intersection of those sets. We have that the finite intersection of the sets u sub i, which are non-empty sets in the collection tau, is once again in the collection tau. Now clearly, the intersection of the empty set with this finite intersection is the empty set, which is in the collection tau, and hence finite intersections of sets in the collection tau are also in the collection tau. And therefore, the collection tau is a topology on the set X, and it is called the cofinite topology or the finite complement topology. So notice that if the underlying set X is finite, then every subset of the set X is also finite. And so the cofinite topology on a finite set X is the same as the discrete topology on that set. So let tau be the cofinite topology on a set X and let the point X be an element in the set. Now since the complement of the complement of the singleton containing that point is the singleton, which is finite. The complement of the singleton is open. 
And so the singleton itself is closed and hence every singleton is closed. Therefore the space X is T1 or fresh A. So as an exercise, let tau be the cofinite topology. on a set X where the underlying set is not finite show that the space X is not T2 or Hausdorff. So once again, let tau be the cofinite topology on a set X where that set is not finite. And let the point X be an element in the underlying set. and let the set U be an open neighborhood of the point X. Then the set U contains all but finitely many elements of the set X as it is cofinite. That is every open neighborhood of the point X contains infinitely many elements of the underlying set X and hence the point X is a cluster point of the space X and this is true since we have established that the uh, cofinite topological space is a T1 space. And so a uh, given point is a cluster point of the space if and only if every open neighborhood of the point contains infinitely many elements of the underlying set. And thus, there does not exist an isolated point. in the SpaceX.